Hello, everyone. Welcome to our regularly scheduled program of We Cross Spring Ceremony featuring Car Jockey versus No Limit, uh, another one of these standard classic matchups. Uh, much different from the previous matchup of me versus Mono Blue, which getting absolutely destroyed. Uh, I mentioned at the end of that video, but it's worth noting in this video, uh, my round four matchup is the one where the video capture software crashed. So I actually do not have the footage at all. I thought I had some of it, but apparently it didn't even save the one while it was recording. So back to round five, um, relatively straightforward. Um, he just plays a Romeo. So he's got two open lanes, which I think is great for me. I'm very excited about that. So I go through my standard lion level one, VJ Wolf laser, keep that going. I know I'm going to have two open lanes. So feeling pretty good about it. I decided a good dig. Um, I don't believe I have a servant in hand. I didn't start with one. I don't think I drew into one. So I do it now. Um, I've made enough mistakes in the past of not digging early enough, uh, realizing that, you know, I didn't have a servant early on and then basically taking the extra damage, which is something that potentially cost me games in the past. So I've learned that if I do not have a servant and I have the energy, I should good dig just to pull that servant, try to find one. And go from there so i play a percival i play an alfard um feeling pretty good about it i didn't have to use any of my removal yet so i'll have that stocked up for the next turn uh, i'm going second here which again in the previous no limit matchup um i mentioned how going second against no limit is kind of a problem um but uh so alfard flips into a Cersinus, which is unfortunate that doesn't do anything but still get the damage in he also manages into this is you know shades of the previous matchup where he flips into an inferno uh vanishes my other signy and then of course he guards the uh, the other attack so so far pretty standard uh nothing too crazy happening here um I guess especially with that inferno it's like my god is this just literally the same matchup but it's it's not believe me um so Nothing really to be said about that. He charges a Lancelot, which in retrospect seems a little weird. Um, I don't know what, I don't remember what happens here. This is a game that I kind of blacked out. Uh, at this point, I am two and two. So I've had obviously the, the struggles against that mono blue deck, um, playing what I played previously against um, the, the first No Limit game kind of set me back, you know, kind of turned me off against an element in general. So he is playing a Mar... Is that a Mars? No, that's a uh, Hera, which is kind of the same thing. Hera, Romail, Lancelot all kind of do the same thing. Uh, Hera does it on attack step, so that's why he didn't Romail. That's why he felt he didn't need to Lancelot. So it kind of explains a little bit about that. Um, he flips into a good dig, so we'll see what I can get out of this. We'll see if I actually remember that I can put it on the field or not. Out for a servant. I don't remember what else I had in there. Um, I may not have had a servant, in which case that would be okay. But looking back on these videos now, oh, there's the gauche again, as I mentioned. I've mentioned several times already that the gauche life burst has whiffed in really inopportune times. Um, so here is Harana. There's a guard. Um, looking back on these videos, I don't know... I feel like I missed a lot of good digs that actually could put could have put Signy to the field where I didn't. So there's some potential life cloth that I, looking back, definitely left on the table. Um, in retrospect, I feel like it absolutely could have won me the round two matchup. Um, I feel like it may have ended up, this is one where it also could have ended up turning the tide in my favor. You know, saving that one extra damage um, could go a long way for it. I know by the end of it, there are some situations where I do actually put the Signy on the field. I don't remember when that finally clicked that, oh my God, I can actually do this. Um, it wasn't something that I like consciously realized, I think. I don't know like how many of those triggers I just missed by like not realizing it. So um, going to Lancelot, again, pretty standard stuff so far. Um, but again, to touch on that, the good dig point. Um, if you are wondering how to level up your game, uh, not a bad idea to record your matches because now when you're not in the heat of the moment, especially in a long, long day of tournament battling, that kind of thing. Um, also, just a side note, 
um, Alfard flips into a servant, so I actually get an extra servant in my hand. But anyway, um, recording your matches and watching them back, you can actually see <laughs> kind of in real time all the mistakes you're making. So uh, this at least has been a good exercise for me that I'm, you know, remembering what I can do about that. So he flips into, I don't know what that Signy is. That's one I think vanishes at like a 10k or less or something. So he vanished one of my down ones, so not a big deal. I'm feeling decently good at this point. Uh, I see he's on three life cloth. Um, so conceivably, I do have my DJ Lovett on track. Um, so what potentially could happen if things go my way is I can potentially grow into crossfade. Um, all I need is one more enter to get the full six. Well, maybe I have six. I can't tell exactly if there's six or not. Um, potentially crush one with that would put him at three so I can theoretically win with just the punchline if he has no servants and everything goes my way. So, I mean, these are the things that like I'm thinking at this point, but he has so much enter. Um, he has used zero of his assists at all. Both of his assists are still level zero. So he still hasn't gotten any card advantage or any of that stuff um, from any of those. So I, I feel like I'm in good shape, but you know, there's still a lot of game to be played here. Um, We'll see what's going. He goes into Ray level one. So he'll draw the two. Uh, I don't know how many cards are currently in his hand, but he has so much enter right now that uh, he can probably do kind of whatever he wants. Um, he goes into Akino, which will bounce the, I think that was a triumph, back to my hand. Just open up those lanes. So now both of his assists are, I know, online. Uh, at least the Akino bye bye is, is the one that usually causes me the most. Um, trouble. So goes into Glory Grow. Not a surprise at this point, really. Um, at, it, it's kind of just a matter for me of figuring out uh, is there a way that I can kind of calculate my life cloth in such a way that I can not take the extra double crush damage? Because if, if, you know, Hirana with double crush hits, you only have one life cloth. That the, the second double crush doesn't do anything. So there are ways that you can kind of cheese through it, depending on how the damage goes through and that kind of thing. Um, so he does grow into Ray here, uh, which I think this is the discard one. Yeah. I really have no idea what's in my hand. To be honest, this game is like vacant from my mind at this point. Um, a lot of no limits. I was kind of burned out a little bit at this point in the day. Um, I do hit my stride later on for a couple games, but this game in particular um, is one that I really don't remember. So he discards a Servant and a PRJ. Um, I think I still have a Servant, if I remember right. I guess we will find out shortly. So he's figuring out, I don't know what he's he's thinking here. I feel like he'll probably, I mean, he's obviously got so many ways to clear my lanes here. He goes into Rose Quartz, um, which that'll vanish my last Signy. So he's got an open board. I have, I think, four cloth left. And there is, I believe that's Mars, which at the moment doesn't do anything because Mars either gets Assassin if she needs to hit through something, or she does, I think she burns an Enter if she vanishes a Signy in combat. But obviously my board is completely empty, so, you know, having Mars right now is not... Uh, she's a big body, really, is all she is. So, at this point, I believe what I'm thinking, I'm trying to, well, I'm asking him, I need to clarification on what Mars does, but again, the fact that she doesn't... I don't have any Signy, it means that basically all her abilities are turned off. So ultimately, the decision for me is, do I grow into crossfade here to, again, save a life, open a lane, um, and potentially crush a damage, which I could do. If I do that, I'll be at two cloth um, for his two Signy that are still there. Uh, I do have to deal with the Glory Grow, um, which actually... I think the reason... Oh, I do end up going into Crossfade. So... I pay the full six. I did leave a um, a white behind, so I can pretty much guarantee that I can hit 
my line level three. He's actually looking up crossfade. He's like, wow, that's a good card. I'm like, yeah, it is a good card. <laughs> so I get the extra crush in. So I'm feeling okay. Um, so that'll open up his lane, crush servant, which he'll, I think he gets back a servant if I remember right. Um, so now I need to figure out, well, I guess we'll see what the crushes are. So he crushes into chandelier. Uh, which Chandelier will give me a spell and a, a Signy. I don't remember what I get. Uh, looks like a good dig and... Still thinking. He's asking. That's another one that he, he's not very familiar with. PRJ. So I get a good dig of PRJ to hand. Crushes another cloth, which is a PRJ. Now I need to figure out, I think I take the guard hit. Oh no, I don't think he's used his once per game actually. I think I, it was just double crush. So there was nothing, I, I was trying to figure out if I could do the math to like kind of negate one of them, but he didn't use his once per game because his Aki no Bye Bye is still, or his he hasn't played Bye Bye, his Aki no is still level one. But he is on two cloth. I have an open lane, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, Essentially, if I can get, I know I have at least one PRJ because I pulled one back from the chandelier. Um, if I can get a second one and potentially a third, well, I guess I couldn't get three. Um, although, yeah, because my, my love it is, is level two. So I do have the extra um, limit. So I could play two PRJs and a level one, hopefully have them stick so that he's got to pay the extra enter um, to guard. Um which potentially will give me the three damage I need, because I, I just need three damage to get in, right? So I'm pretty much expecting Akino Bye Bye at this point. He's got enough enter uh, that it doesn't matter. I, I, I'll, basically, I need two PRGs if I want to have either of them do anything, because if I just have one, he's going to bounce it for sure. Um, although, again, not necessarily. If I put them both where his signies are, he may not have done that. I don't think I have to, honestly. I think I just have one anyway, so I don't think it matters. But another consideration to think about, especially in card jockey, is where you play your PRJs. Uh, typically, you don't want to put them in open lanes. You want them to be behind Signy so that if your opponent does try to remove them, then they're still leaving damage on the table. In some cases, you can't do that just because the lanes are open, in which case, like, <laughs> too much of a good thing, I suppose. Um, but that's definitely a consideration, you know, for you sort of anyone who's who's starting to get into card jockey and trying to figure out the best way to maximize um, Signy placement is uh, get your PRJs against other Signy and potentially vanish. You may have to vanish them through combat, which isn't ideal. I mean, you're giving your opponent enter when you do that, unfortunately. But what it does mean is that you're, you're, you're basically forcing your opponent to choose, do you keep the PRJ around for the static effect? Or, and that's what I do, I play the PRJ in the side. Or do I vanish the uh, the other Signy, you know, in the open lane to save a damage? Like you're kind of forcing them to choose one or the other. So I opt to pay for it. Um, I believe if this is what I'm remembering. Oh, never mind. I go for an Inferno and a second PRJ. So I actually do find the second one. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, but again, the question now is if I Inferno to open a lane, uh, which I think I do here. Uh, I do put the PRJ on the side, which is kind of what I expected. I don't remember. There's the Inferno to get the roll mail. And then Zhao Yun in the middle. So kind of forcing the issue here. Uh, I, I'm already expecting Akino Bye Bye, so I figure if he's going to use it, I may as well make him overpay for it. Um, again, especially with the, the two PRJs that costs him so much more to grow or to guard. So he does pay the full amount to bounce the PRJ, and I believe he does the Zhao as well. Maybe? Maybe he doesn't. Oh, I think he's he's deciding whether to discard. Maybe, I don't know. He does the, I guess he leaves the Zhao. So I attack with PRJ again. They're especially against No Limit, just because of the Infernos and stuff like that. You want to down your Signy if you can before you attack. 
<laughs> and again, thank God I did, because that Deafening Inferno would have banished PRJ, at which point um, it wouldn't have mattered. So he's got four enter. He's got one cloth. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. All I got to do is flip a three, and he'll either have no enter and no cloth, or he's going to be in bad shape, whatever. I flip into Lancelot, unfortunately. So that's only two. He takes the first one, which is a servant. Um, so that'll bring, uh, I don't know what he gets back. Could bring a servant back. Like if he didn't have one, he can use it to get one type of thing. Uh, he's deciding, I think, obviously he's, yeah, he just gets a, a signy. I didn't see what that was, but he does have a guard for the second one, uh, which is just so unfortunate. Um, after the game, we talked briefly, and uh, he did mention that if I flipped a level three, he would not have been able to survive. I guess that's not true, because he could have guarded one of them, gotten the guard back with the life burst, and then paid for the other one. Um, so he conceivably could have survived, I think, if it was a three, but he would have had zero enter, basically. I mean, he would have one enter after the fact. Um, but whiffing that punchline really hurts. That one in particular, because it was like, two is usually like, okay, but it, obviously three is, I mean, should go without saying. But um, that one would have been uh, really good, because it would have starved his resources even more. It would basically force him to pay for Enter to survive. So he goes to the top, which completely drains me out. Um, I did have some hope that I could play VJ Wolf Laser, or VJ Wolf Mirage to... Because I have an open lane at this point because of the bye-bye. So in my head, I'm like, okay, I can at least potentially VJ Wolf Laser or VJ Wolf Mirage. I keep saying that. Uh, but he Infernos anyway, the Zhao Yun. So now I have two open lanes. Um, I have only one enter, which is not enough to do anything. So he fills up the board. Doesn't really matter what it is. Um, I think he uses Mars to get over Assassin. So now he's got, he's got three Signy attacks. He's got... Uh, Akino once per or the Hirana once per game, and he's got um, you know just so many so much damage all over the place, and uh, that's basically all I could do at that point. So he goes to attack, and that's sort of the end of it. So a relatively straightforward game. Um, in retrospect, at the time I was like, man, if I hit that punchline, I would have won for sure. In retrospect, I don't think he's actually asking me about my Mirage. Um, if I had hit the punchline, I don't think I, I would have won if he sequenced things correctly. You know, if he had guarded first and um, potentially used the servant that he life bursted into to get the other servant back, he could have actually survived it. Because I don't think he actually had a servant in his trash. He just had one in his hand. Um, so he mentioned that he probably would have lost if I hit the three. But I think that was only because he didn't sequence things correctly. If he would have just taken... If he would have servanted first to get one in the trash to potentially pull it back with the servant life burst, he could still have survived and ended up winning. So a little bit of a misplay on, on both of our parts, unfortunately. So, uh, But good games to that. That leaves me at 2-3, and three, unfortunately, for the day. But uh, can I recover? We shall see. See you in the next one.